Hi guys, welcome back to the garage. Um, I know I may look like death warmed over. <laughs> I still feel a bit like death warmed over. Um, I'm still recuperating, but I really, really wanted to do this April wrap up and uh, May start video. And um, oh gosh, there's so many cool new tags going around and stuff. And so, um, yeah, so I thought, well, you know, I'll take today and see how I feel. And gosh, it's been so nice to be back out in my in my spiritual garage here today. The weather is gorgeous. It's probably about 75 degrees outside. I don't know what that is in uh, Celsius, probably in the 20-somethings. But um, anyway, it's just been really nice to be outside instead of inside where, um, if you haven't heard, I have been massively sick all week. Uh, it started last weekend, uh, Friday night, and by Saturday, I was just full-blown sick. I don't know if it was just cold, a flu, uh, whatever, but as the week has progressed and I've been going through some things, um, I, I'm thinking it's not only uh, a physical purge of like, um, I don't know, an, a virus or an infection, but I also think my body is purging other things because of some transitions that I'm going through right now. All good, all good, but as with any transition, uh, it, it's difficult. It's difficult, and so I think this is some of the, um, I think the illness is some of the, the stuff that uh, I'm dealing with during this purging phase that I seem to be going through. So, I may not be as fun and as bubbly <laughs> as I usually am, but um, I really wanted to come and talk about what, uh, what I did in April and what I have planned for May. April was a really busy month for me. So I did not have a whole lot of, um, I didn't really get a whole lot of card time. Um, I started out using the Revelations Tarot last month and I did several readings with it and um, the readings just were were slightly off. Not like way off, but they were they were slightly off. And um, between what I was looking at at, at the cards and uh, what the, the book was saying, it, it just didn't match up. So I thought, okay, maybe now is not the right time. So I, I put the deck away probably oh, half to three quarters through the month of April. So, um, you know, I'm going to leave it alone for a little while, come back to it and see what happens. So I really didn't, I didn't pick up another tarot deck uh, the rest of the month. Uh, I worked with uh, the Catland Oracle here, Joanna Nelson. Love her. She did the Mons Tarot, and she is now working on a new tarot deck. So follow her on Facebook or follow her on Instagram because... She is showing each of the cards as she is painting them. And so I think the last one we saw was the High Priestess. Pretty cool stuff, guys. So anyway, um, I would just use the Catland Oracle. Um, I used it all month long for my, my daily draws. And love it. Love it. How do you not love these kitties? Look at these kitty faces. Look at these eyes. The eyes are so expressive. I love the eyes. And then, you know, what's going on in the background. And they're just, they're awesome cards. But, you know, some of them can, can really say, in a kinder way, you need to, you know, maybe it's like the one card. Oh, gosh. I had one card that was stalking me uh, for the entire month. And it was really kind of, uh, it was funny. It was so funny that I kept getting this card. I mean, literally, um, when I go to work in the morning, uh, is when my computer is booting up, of all things, 
uh, is when I do my daily draws. I sit there and I shuffle and I think, you know, what kind of wisdom do you want to impart for me? And then I have a little stand on my desk that I put my card on. And I look at it, I'm able to look at it all day and think about the message and concentrate on the message, right? So when I come in the next morning, I take the card off the stand, I put it back in the deck, and I shuffle probably 12 to 15 times at least, you know, and I do overhand and riffle and all of that good stuff. And I kept pulling this card. All month long, I kept pulling this card, guidance. And what it means was don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask others for guidance on a problem or a situation or, you know, what have you. And so, um, I, Leo, I am a Leo. Leos are very proud. We, we handle our own business. We're not known for asking for help. Um, pride. You know, lion pride, right? Yeah, well, I've had more than one fall from lion pride. So uh, this old lioness has learned her lesson. <laughs> and so I did. I reached out to a couple of people um, uh, to help me in situations. And um, I felt much better and, and things were good. But, um, yeah, that guidance card got me. So I use the Catland Oracle all month long. And fabulous, fabulous. So that's really about it for, um, for April. I didn't do a whole lot, like I said. Um, especially at the end of the month, I got all sick and everything. So now, moving on to May. Ta-da! New month, new month, cleansing. Um, you know, the, the last video I did where I opened all my packages that I previously hadn't cared what was in. Um, <laughs> that's how sick I was. That's pretty sick when you don't care what's in your packages, right? <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, but I had another package that I wanted to save specifically for this video. Now, I opened the package, but um, I have to, sh I gotta show you this because I did it um, specifically for this purpose. But first of all, I got this lovely handmade card. <laughs> yes. And, ta-da, friendship artwork by my friend Heidi Feather, our very own Wild Feather. I got a package from her because I ordered something from her. And I love this. Look at this. She makes these sweet bookmarks for her, her Wild's Color Cauldron and her tarot readings. Isn't that a cute bookmark? I love it. And then, you know, her information and stuff here is on the back, her email. And so I thought that was really cool. And I got another tarot bag. I got another tarot bag. So this is my second tarot bag from Heidi. And um, for those who don't know or who are new to my channel, uh, Wild Feather. W-I-L-D-F-E-A-T-H-A. -E I'll link her channel below. Um, Heidi uh, spins and dyes her own yarn. So she will take raw wool and she will work it and she will spin it. She will dye it and then she crochets it. And she makes hats and shawls as well as she just recently started making tarot bags and these things are adorable they're great oh my god they're so soft that's the other thing too they are so soft <coughs> but it's a lot of work it's a lot of work and she shows her process on um she's got videos on her youtube channel where you can watch her process and how she takes raw wool and turns it into yarn and it is not an easy feat 
and I appreciate um, every bit of this that, that she did for me. So Heidi did another one for me earlier in, uh, in the year, which I absolutely love. I think this one is dyed with goldenrod. I think this is dyed with goldenrod. Um, this will came to her pre-dyed, I think, but she does do her own natural dye. Uh, the colors are not this vibrant with her natural dye, um, but you do see some color changes. So uh, check out my girl Heidi. So, and, and um, I am going to keep my uh, Shaman Ways or Shaman Wisdom cards. I just got these not too long ago. I'm going to be keeping my Shaman Wisdom cards in this bag. So. Yeah, yeah, my girl, Heidi, I got a new tarot bag. I love her bags. Every time she, she does a new one, I'm like, I'll take one, I'll take one. Um, because it's something you don't find anymore. Craftsmanship like that, we have gone to manufactured junk, you know. It doesn't last at all. It's buy it when it breaks, throw it out, buy a new one. And back in the day, when I was younger, man, things were built to last. You took care of them because you had them for years and years and years and years. And you, you just don't see crafts, craftsmanship like that anymore. And that's why I love, love, love supporting small businesses who are handcrafting um, all different kinds of things. You know, people have uh, new apothecaries. My friend... Uh, Shakti Shaman, Shakti Shaman, she's opened her own uh, uh, shop, uh, Lotus Moon Creations, where she's got wonderful oils and um, oh incenses and marvelous things. You know, I have friends, uh, Moonlit Fay, who who makes tarot bags and uh, uh, Silver Divination, who makes tarot bags and. Um, Divine Octavaga makes tarot bags, and I just love purchasing items from these small businesses because it's a fine craft that um, that you just don't find people who do it these days. So um, to anyone who is a small business owner, thank you, thank you, thank you for keeping these traditions alive, and hopefully some of our young folks will... Um, will will want to pick up some of these traditions to see that they they don't die out with us so there's that okay moving on <laughs> so at the beginning of the month um when i was so sick uh i received a, a new tarot deck i got the sacred vision oracle cards now everybody and their brother has been going on about these cards. Um, they like them. The pictures. Uh, the pictures are gorgeous, you know. Um, what they don't like, however, is the writing on the back. <laughs> Some people find it a bit distracting that there's writing on the back. Fortunately, I'm not one of those people. I don't. I don't have a problem with that. So I decided to pull a card. And I've kind of kept it up because it, um, it really I impacted where I was coming from. Remember I talked about, you know, illness and purging and all of this stuff. So this was the card I pulled for the month. And it's called Power, Butterfly Dreaming. And it's the West and it's black. And it says, you are a spirit warrior who sings your song line. Hmm. Right? Um, your agreement to live. From the moment of your birth into the restrictive physical world, you must call upon the mysterious language of intuition to remember the world from which you came. The world of your dreams and spiritual relationships. It is from here that you feel your true power. Holla. As the spirits of all living beings must find their physical home, so must your song line be given its everlasting home within your heart. As the butterfly must have the world of awareness in one wing and the dream world in the other to fly, 
She must also have the connection between them to live. The heart, no matter how turbulent or challenging your life may be, no one can ever take your song line from its home. Wow, powerful words to me because of being sick, and like I said, this month has been very challenging with my stepdad. Um, I have had to dive into my heart at times to, to keep going because I am a body of one taking carry, care of several bodies. So, um, yeah, so this was my card for the month of May. And then on top of it, I decided eh, I'm going to pull a couple of cards from uh, my Shaman Wisdom deck. And so the first card I pulled was Turquoise. And it's the fifth chakra. And the fifth chakra, I believe, is the throat chakra. So I thought, well, isn't that fine and dandy, right? So here's what it says for the throat chakra. Be quiet. Listen. You will understand how to free yourself from the everyday pressures and soothe emotional tension. I am all things. So I'm like, hmm, hmm. So I'm thinking, be quiet, free myself from the everyday pressures, the sickness, the purging, you know, the getting rid of the, the pressures and the, the emotional stuff that I have had going on um, over April. So I thought, hmm, let's dive deeper into this. So I pulled another card from the shaman and I got the south. And directions are very important um, they're more important than almost anything uh, in the Native American uh, community. And so it says, um, The changes to be brought about through purification and healing will lead to renewal and growth. You are courageous. You are a warrior with the power and strength of youth. You pick up the green shield of defense and protection or choose the red shield of offense and aggression, but only with love in your heart. Walk your talk. I am day, I am water. So I'm like, okay. This card said I was a warrior too, right? I am a warrior. Pick up my shield of green for protection. I certainly did when it came to... Uh, to Gracie and Lori, yes, I did. Um, that was a, a, a place of aggression, most definitely. And it was from a place of protection as well. And it was from my heart. And so, um, yeah, these have been pretty powerful cards for me uh, this month. This These three um, already just, just starting this month. So... Um, yeah, so I'm keeping those up for, for reminders. So I just thought I would share that because it really was very significant uh, to me. Okay, let's see. Where am I going to go from here? Where she goes, nobody knows. Oh my gosh, I'm up to 18 minutes already. Can you guys believe this? I have had so much stuff going on this month. This, this video may go a little bit longer than my usual. But bear with me because I may not be doing as many videos this month. Um, I don't know. Something tells me I'm not going to be doing as many videos this month. So anyways, all right, so we got that. Then I'm going to do a prosperity box. I haven't seen anybody showing off their prosperity boxes. Now, come on, people. Tell me you have got your prosperity box together. Somebody's got to have one. So I'm going to show you. I just cleaned out. Remember, I've told you all about my stash in my vehicle. It's got my little wealth stone in it. Okay. All of this change. Nope. Here we go. I'm going to dump it again. I don't know. You see all of this change in here? All of that change in one month, one month, in my car, and, <coughs> excuse me, 
I just counted up all my dollar bills that I have saved from January uh, to now. You ready? Look at this, folks. $150. I have saved $150 just saving $1 bills. I'm more than halfway to my goal, and we aren't even halfway through the year yet for my Christmas money. I'm telling you, get on them prosperity boxes. I'm going to be talking about that maybe later this month as well because um, my friend, Robert Alvarez, uh, Mr. Lighting in a Fan, is holding a divine prosperity event. This time he got the right amount of people. And so he's going to be holding a, a, a real class in New York City, but he's going to simulcast it for, for those of us who are going to take part. And so I'm looking forward to kind of upping my, my uh, prosperity blessings and manifesting some more money miracles because, doggone, I deserve it. I work hard. I'm a good person. Um, you guys should expect some abundancy and prosperity in your life. You know, get that promotion that you want at work or find that house that you want or, you know, finance that car that you've been looking at. You can have it too. I'm just telling you, you have to believe you can have it too. Okay, that's enough said about prosperity. Oh, although one last thing. We got the, the uh, Monopoly thing uh, going here at our grocery stores. And so, yes, doggone. <laughs> if somebody's going to win a million dollars, by Jovi, why not me, right? <laughs> <coughs> oh, gosh, it's too much fun. All righty. So, for the month of May, all right, my plans are I'm going to work with this Gothic Moon Tarot deck because... Even, even with the fonts and stuff, I freaking love this deck. Absolutely love this deck. Um, oh, the artwork is just absolutely stunning. Their use of, of uh, shadow and light. I mean, I just... Every time I look at a card, I see something I had not seen before. And um, I tell you, the silver gilding they used... I don't know what they used. I've never seen it on any other deck like this before. But this is great stuff. I love this. Love, love, love. So, yes. I'm going to be using the Gothic Moon uh, Tarot. For anybody else who owns the Gothic Moon Tarot, which um, you can buy, I think, at GothicMoonTarot.com. Or, um, no, Gothic Art Studio. Gothic Art Studio. That's who you want to look for. And um, I linked it on my other video, I think. But anyways, um, they have a Facebook group uh, for everybody who has the deck that's called Gothic Moon Insights uh, or Gothic Moon Tarot Insights. So get yourself in the, in the Facebook group and come discuss the cards with us and, and stuff. Um, I was like everybody else. I finally broke and I got both. The Wild Unknown and uh, Animal Spirit Tarot's. Um, I was, when they initially came out um, Kickstarter, I was not on the bandwagon with these decks. But um, over the last almost year that I've been doing this, they started to grow on me. And then I found out about the the mass market with the, uh, with the keepsake boxes. And so kind of broke and went for it <laughs> so I'm going to be checking out those um, as well as um, I have the Universal Mind Oracle uh, which I haven't used so I'm looking forward to using that this month also so the Universal Mind Oracle and um you know, I might throw another deck or two in there. I'm not sure. I'm getting to the point where um, I notice that uh, sometimes I say I'm going to be working with a deck. And then a couple of days later, it's like, no, you don't want to talk to me, do you? So <laughs> things kind of get changed around. So we'll see. 
But anyway, those are my plans for, uh, for May going forward. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks for all the love uh, since I've been sick. You guys have no idea how much that has, has truly meant to me and it just made me feel at ease to, to know that uh, you were all thinking about me. I, I can't say it enough. I love this community. This community is just absolutely brilliant and beautiful and smart and funny and oh, it's made a huge difference in my life and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. So thank you all so very, very much. Um, with that, I'm going to move on to my next video today and I'm going to say much love and I'll see you next time.